Rumors about a Switch Pro have been swirling around for nearly two years now, and we still know next to nothing about it in an official capacity. However, just yesterday, Bloomberg broke a story claiming that the next iteration of the Switch will likely be on the market just in time for the holidays, and it will feature a 7-inch Samsung OLED display. According to the sources in the article, the new screen will maintain a resolution of 720p, like the current Switch and the Switch Lite, but the new and improved model will upscale to 4K when docked. Now, if you're disappointed by the newly rumored screen only being 720p, 20p, don't be. There's a lot of advantages here for a mobile gaming device, like less draw power for improved battery life, and at 7 inches, the pixel density will basically match a fancy Apple Retina display when you're holding it around 16 inches from your face or further. In addition, since the screen is an OLED, the improved contrast is going to go a really long way for making games look better, and there's even a chance there will be less input latency. Now, if the 4K when dock part of the Bloomberg story has you scratching your head, let us catch you up on how that's probably going to work based on all the rumors and speculation that have been coming up until this point. Long story short, Nintendo is currently in the perfect position to incorporate Nvidia's proprietary deep learning super sampling technology into the next version of the Switch. Okay, buckle up, let's get into it. If you play games on PC, you might have already heard of DLSS. You might have even used DLSS already to make your games look better or run smoother. In short, DLSS is an artificial intelligence rendering technology that lets players use higher resolutions and settings while still maintaining solid frame rates without having to upgrade their hardware. This is done through the combination of supercomputing and AI learning which uses super sampling and accumulation rendering to produce high resolution frames. A very reductive explanation for what's happening is that DLSS analyzes a frame at a lower resolution, uses math and AI learning to intuit what it looks like at a higher resolution, and then displays that in real time instead. Believe it or not, all of that takes far less processing power than running a game at native 4K, and even frees up extra computational power to spend on just running the game itself. Nintendo has become well known for prioritizing unique gameplay and refined cohesive visual aesthetics over raw technical power when it comes to their games and hardware, and now, with Nvidia's help, they might be able to double down on those principles while also providing incredible visual fidelity and performance. To put it into context, currently, DLSS allows you to play a game as if it was running natively at 1440p, but displays it at 4K and the results are staggering. A lot of game sites and critics are blown away, claiming that in some cases games running in DLSS 4K look just as good or even better than a side-by-side -side comparison running native. 4K. Black Magic, Miracle, and Remarkable are all words that have been used to describe DLSS in action. Unfortunately, as of right now, DLSS is only available for 20 and 30 series NVIDIA graphics cards because they utilize a unique chip architecture and specialized AI processors called Tensor Cores. So short of jamming one of those honking GPUs into a Switch Pro or a Switch Pro dock, what does this all mean for Nintendo? Well, originally, rumors around the Switch Pro suggested it would use an improved version of its current chip, the Tigra X1, which is developed by NVIDIA. However, a rumor from back in January 2020 claimed that a new custom chip would be used instead and that it would be based on NVIDIA's Volta architecture, which contains the required tensor cores for AI processing that make tech like DLSS possible. In the past, the theory was if the Switch Pro could implement DLSS, then it could have a very high resolution screen, run games natively at a lower resolution, and then use DLSS to make up the difference, or at the very least upscale games to 4K when docked or paired with a 4K TV. Now, with the latest information provided by the most recent Bloomberg article, we know that the latter is likely more true. But if everything came together in the right way, future iterations of the Switch Pro or a Switch Pro Plus could introduce a higher resolution screen, but more or less keep the same insides. In addition, part of the technique DLSS uses to upscale games could be used to make games running at 720p in handheld mode look and run better too. The introduction of a better screen and more visual fidelity tracks with another report that came out of Taiwan in August of 2020, which specifically claimed that the Switch Pro will benefit from improved interactivity and display quality. Some people are even suggesting that the processing power saved by DLSS might even enable the Switch Pro to utilize ray tracing. It's all kind of speculation at this point, but it's fun to think about. A lot of credit has to go to Digital Foundry, who explored these ideas back in February of 2020 based on the tech being used in the latest model of the Nvidia Shield, which is internally similar to the Switch. The video demonstrates how Nintendo could in theory run modern games or ports at 360p or 540p and then upscale them with DLSS to run at the current iteration of the Switch's native resolution in 720p. The results in the concept are very exciting. Now, DLSS is incredibly impressive, but it wouldn't solve everything for the Switch Pro. There would certainly be some limitations when it comes to raw processing power or things like porting the newest Assassin's Creed game or whatever. But if the Switch Pro install base even comes close to that of the current Switch, you could bet publishers would be motivated to put in a little extra work to make ports for both new and old games that you would never have thought could run locally on a handheld device. As for an 
impending announcement about Switch Pro, don't get your hopes up. Given the delays caused by the pandemic and after watching the disastrous launches of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, it's easy to see why Nintendo would wait as long as possible to launch a new or updated console. The announcement of a Switch Pro probably won't come until the last possible moment, so maybe sometime over the summer, if it does in fact release in the fall. In the meantime, we're crossing our fingers that if it does drop this year, it'll come day and date with a sequel to Breath of the Wild. And hey, if you want to see more speculative videos from us, let us know in the comments or drop a like and subscribe.